Hi guys, so here we are starting the DSA sheet by Lugbubber. So let's begin with the first problem, which is uh, reverse a string for an array. So let's understand how a string on array or an array is represented. An array you all might know looks something like this. Um, a string also looks something like this. Like a string, like you store hello in a string named as S. So hello would be stored like H E L L O. Indices would be 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 subsequently. Now the question asks us to uh, make the string or the array as O, L, L, E, H. That is, it should be stored in the same array, something like this, O, L, L, E, H, with the indices 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now how should we proceed? To proceed, uh, you can first think of um, the brute force approach, which would which would look like brute force approach would be like, ki, okay, bhaiya, I would uh, take another array of same length, that is five. Zero, one, two, three, four, yeah, and I will start a loop from the fourth index, that is the n minus one index, up till zero as index and store it in the array like uh, if i write a pseudo code just a minute yeah if i write a pseudo code if you would say something like for i equals to n minus one up till zero and let me start at j here j equals to zero for this reference for this array reference we are using j and uh, let's name this array as uh, a now you are saying me that we are a of j equals to s of i and after that j plus plus so how would this work let's try run this so in the subsequent array I is from here. Indices let me have indices first. I is starting from here. And here we have an empty array of same length. Yeah. J the indices are like this. J is starting from here. Okay. So the first step says Firstly, I will go to, oh, I will start from 4, J is starting from 0, we take the O and store it here, O comes here, J plus plus, so J proceeds and becomes to 1, J comes here, then we have L here, we place L there, after that J becomes 2, J comes here. Also, subsequently, I is also moving backwards because it is in the for loop. Okay. We again find an L. Again find an L. We again mark L here. Move J forward. And I backwards. We find the E. Mark E at the position. J again moves forward. 4. And I moves at zero find an edge place edge here j moves here out of indices but that is not the terminating condition the terminating condition is i moving up to up till zero and then afterwards it will terminate so after that uh, i will come here that is on the minus one but the for loop says that i should be greater than equals to zero so here we have got an array a 
which consist of the string in the reverse like a is reverse representation of s but we have to get the answer in s So what can we do? Yes, you are right. We just have to copy A back to the S. So here we will not need two, var two variables to get the count. We just need an I which will go from 0 to 4 or 4 to 0 your way. Either you have to go increasingly or decreasingly. So the loop will, the pseudocode for something look like for i equals to 0 i less than equals to s dot length minus 1 i plus plus now because we are copying a to s we have to assign s i equals to a i the for loop will dominate and we can safely return yes i don't think that's a problem that was an easy solution now let's analyze time complexity and space complexity so in the first step when we copied uh, s to a in reverse order we just choose a single loop and the time complexity of that would be o of and, and in the second step also we copied a to s and that also we are o of n. So time complexity would be like o of n plus o of n o of 2n and all of us know that o of 2n is also equals to o of n. Now let's analyze the space complexity. We can also see that we are using just in same size array to store the numbers to store the string or numbers or whatever you can say so that will also be o of n so now you will ask me that bhaiya is there any other way we can do it in the same uh, less time complexity or space complexity yes i would say yes that is that it is it is possible so let's apply a optimal approach What we can do, let's visualize the problem. We have an array. Let's like just A, B, C, D, E, F. And we want to transform it into F E T C B A So what is actually happening if you see that if you see closely A is replacing its position with F similarly B is replacing its position with E and C with d so if you can see we can run a loop that comes start from here then there then there and then terminates so we are actually accomplishing our uh, end goal so now let's observe the observe the uh, indices the length of the array here is uh, you can also see it six okay so n here is six how can we proceed like if uh, we are using a indice is 0 f indice is 5 now 0 and 5 0 and 5 means 
if we link 0 to 5 and we have a 6 as a supporter we can say that if uh, 5 looks like 6 minus 1 minus 0 similarly for b b's index is 1 f index is 4 so for linking 1 with 4 the above formula field applies again 6 minus 1 minus 1 equals to 4 equals to 5 now what now let's examine c and d c equals to 2 d equals to 3 2 to 3 6 minus 1 minus 2 equals to 3 after that we have to stop so we are going up till 2 okay so we have to go up till 2 so what can we do we can make a loop for i equals to 0 okay i will go up till n by 2 and here is 6 6 by 2 is 3 we have to go up till 2 so we don't have to touch the 3 so for that we will just use less than not less than equals less than equals to would be wrong in this case we have to use less than n by 2 i plus plus now we have to swap two numbers present on the index is i so we have to swap index i with what we observed here that it was 6 minus 1 minus 2 so 6 minus 1 was common in all those three and 2 was the index of i so it can be visualized as n minus 1 minus i correct me if i'm wrong in the comment section we have to swap index i with index n minus i minus 1 okay so how can that be achieved we can declare a temporary variable int temp equals to uh, a of i a of i equals to a of n minus i minus 1 a of n minus i minus 1 equals to a of oh sorry look at last we can return a let's observe the time complexity in the space complexity for this case so here we are moving up till 0 1 2 up till n by 2 so the loop will give the time complexity of o of n by 2 which is o of n same as brute force the play here happens at the space complexity if you observe carefully we have not used any extra space except for the variables that comes in o of 1 for the variables the space complexity will be open. So we are saving O of n space from the brute force approach to optimize optimized approach. Hope you understand. Let's code it, code it down. So yeah. Yeah, this. Yeah. Coming to it, first we have to store int n equals to str dot n. Now for int i equals to zero, i less than n by two. Add this first, i plus plus. Cat temp equals to STRI STRI equals to STR n minus i minus 1 STR 
of n minus i minus 1 equals to 10. Return str. Let's hope it works. We are running a compiler run. It is working for compiler. Let's try and submit it. Yeah, so it worked. Hope you enjoyed the lecture. Thanks for watching.